Today we'll be using Omniture Test and Target to test whether reinforcing a search visitor's experience to your site by injecting their search keywords into a landing page will increase the number of internal search results for the site. Uh, let's go over the setup real quick. What we're looking at here is my WordPress blog. And what I've done is to the bottom of each of my posts, I've added a really simple block of text here prompting my visitors to search my site uh, for additional information. So find more posts about web analytics, search now. And this will execute a search, internal search, looking for the keyword measure. What I want to do is I want to test to see if I inject the keywords that visitors type uh, in the search engine before they come to my site into this search and then execute that search based on that keyword, if that will increase the number of internal searches that my site is able to generate. So let's talk quickly how we've set this up. If I go over to my WordPress blog here, I've edited, I'm have i editing my uh, single post uh, document and what I've done is I've wrapped that content that we looked at earlier, find more posts about web analytics, with the standard inbox code as you see here. We're creating a new inbox called USUJSON blog post search. I've also added a conversion inbox to my search results template. That way when we set up the campaign and test and target, we can use that as our conversion checkpoint. If we toggle over to test and target, uh, I've created a very basic HTML offer. I'm calling this single post search terms. This block of code was provided to me by Brian Watkins over at Omniture Digital, so I can't, I can't take credit for it, it but it works great uh, and can be easily updated to fit the style of, of your site. So I've gone ahead and created this offer and saved it. Now all I've done is created a, a very basic A-B test. I'm calling my campaign inject search terms. But for this campaign, we're doing something a little different. We're going to add targeting to the campaign level. So what I've done is I've targeted this campaign to only traffic from Google. So anybody that comes from Google is going to be in my campaign. Let's take a quick look at the experiences that we're going to do. Again, the inbox that we created earlier was lazy loaded into the system. We've gone ahead and selected it here, USU JSON blog post search. Now our two, two experiences are going to be our control. So if we toggle back over here, the control is just the generic search to ask visitors to search for more information about web analytics. And my test is going to be my single post search terms offer which we created which is going to dynamically insert into the post the search term that the visitor searched for. If we scroll down we can see that the conversion inbox is the conversion uh, inbox that I created on my search results page and I called it USUJSON blog post search conversion. Now, if we run this test, this is what it looks like. If I go over to Google, which I've done here, I've searched for test and target. I've found one of my blog posts that come up in the search results, and I'm gonna go ahead and click through on that. Now when the blog post comes up, we'll scroll down through the content and look at the bottom. We now have the content that says, find more posts about test and target. And you can see that the search term was targeted and pre-populated to the search term that the visitor searched for in Google. So if they clicked on this, it would execute an internal search on my site for the term test and target. I'm very interested to see the outcome of the results of this test. Uh, from all the other testing I've done in the past, experiments that look at tying visits together and adding continuity typically come out on top, but I'm not gonna predict the winner ahead of time. I'm gonna let it run, but hopefully this gives you some ideas for how you can use search terms injected into your landing pages to increase conversion.